Hi friends, this is Marjorie at home, not at the library, and I'd like to read you another story. This is Harold and the Purple Crayon by Crockett Johnson. Okay. One evening, this is Harold. One evening, after thinking it over, Harold decided to go for a walk in the moonlight. There wasn't any moon, and Harold needed a moon to go for a moonlight walk. And he needed something to walk on. So he made a long straight path so he wouldn't get lost. And he set off on his walk, taking his big purple crayon with him. But he didn't seem to be getting anywhere on the long straight path. So he left the path for a shortcut across a field and the moon went with him. The shortcut led to where Harold thought there should be a forest. He didn't want to get lost in the woods, so he made a very small forest with just one tree. It, it turned out to be an apple tree. The apples would be very tasty, Harold thought, when they got red. So he put a frightening dragon under the tree to guard the apples. It was a terribly frightening dragon. Ooh, yeah. So frightening that it even frightened Harold. And he backed away. His hand holding the crayon was shaking. The whole time it shook. Suddenly he realized what was happening. But by then, Harold was over his head in an ocean. He came up thinking fast. And in no time, he was climbing aboard a trim boat. He quickly set sail, and the moon sailed along with him. After he'd sailed long enough, Harold made land without much trouble. He stepped ashore on the beach, wondering where he was. The sandy beach reminded Harold of picnics, and he thought of picnics the thought of picnics made him hungry. So he laid out a simple picnic lunch. There was nothing but pie, but there were all nine kinds of pie that Harold liked best. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine pies. When Harold finished his picnic, there was quite a lot left. He hated to see so much delicious pie go to waste. So Harold left a very hungry moose and a deserving porcupine to finish it up. Hmm, I think they can eat all that. And off he went looking for a hill to climb to see where he was. He knew that the higher up he went, the farther he could see, so he decided to make a hill. He decided to make the hill into a mountain so he could get even higher. He went up high enough to see his window on his, in his bedroom. Do you think he could see his bedroom window from way up there? He was going to get to the top and look. He was tired and he felt he ought to be going to bed. He hoped he could see his bedroom window when he got to the top of the mountain. But as he looked down over the other side, you know what? He slipped and he fell. <laughs> Harold? There was nothing on the other side of the mountain. He was falling in thin air. But luckily, he kept his wits about him and his purple crayon. He made a balloon and he grabbed onto it. And he made a basket under it big enough to stand in. He had a fine view from the balloon, but he couldn't see his window. He couldn't even see a house. So he made a house with windows, and he landed the balloon on the grass in the front yard. None of the windows was his window. He tried to think where his window ought to be. He made some more windows. He made a big building full of windows. He made lots of buildings full of windows. He made a whole city full of windows and buildings. Hmm, I 
nice job, Harold. But none of the windows was his window. He couldn't think where it might be. He decided to ask a policeman. The policeman pointed the way. Harold was going anyway, but Harold thanked him. And he walked along with the moon, wishing he had his room and his bed. Then suddenly Harold remembered. He remembered where his bedroom window was when there was a moon. It was always right around the moon. And Harold made his bed, he got in, he drew up the covers, and the purple crayon dropped on the floor, and Harold dropped off to sleep. Well, I've got my purple crayon, and I've got a white piece of paper, and Harold drew the moon, I think I'll draw the sun. Mine's going to be in the day. So I am going to draw a sun. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? There's the sun. And sun makes the earth warm. And when it gets warm, flowers start to come up. And if you look outside your window, you might see flowers coming up. in your yard too. And there is my purple picture. So maybe you have a purple crayon and you could draw a purple picture to give to somebody you love. Or, you know what? If you don't have a purple crayon, any color will do. It could be Emma and the red crayon. It could be Olivia and the pink crayon. You can draw whatever you want. Thank you. And we'll read again one time soon, and I'm just going to say goodbye.